That was a great game, huh? Oh, yeah, it was great. I was a little distracted, though. Mm -hmm. Got the rumblies a bit, you know? Oh, you want to get something to eat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of like short on cash, though. I don't worry about it. It's on me. Cool. Mm. Mm. Next time, dude, lunch is on me. <laughs> okay. Hey, you ready? Hi, are you here for the auditions? Yes, I am. I'm trying out for the role of Lucy. Are you here for the male lead? Oh my lord, I'm here for the part of Lucy as well. You're joking, right? Ma'am, if this were a joke, you'd be in hysterics right now. So to answer your question, no. There's no way they'll hire you. You're a man. Correct. And thank you. What makes you think you can pull this off? Because I'm very confident in my acting abilities. As a matter of fact, my range is impeccable. I once played the role of tree number two in a high school production. Not one person remembers seeing me in that play. Now that is a mark of a great actor. Okay, whatever you say. Good luck. Hey, are you guys here for the audition? What part are you trying out for? Well, I'm trying out for the role of Lucy. Oh. Are you kidding me? What? Has the role been taken? What's wrong with you guys? Are you intimidated? Are you afraid of a little competition? I think she's intimidated. There is absolutely no way any of you are going to get this part. With an attitude like yours, I wouldn't expect to. This show is about a girl, her family, and their dog. Why not try out for one of the male roles? Because I like to push myself as an actor. Sure, I could follow the status quo and audition for one of the male leads. Or, I can improve myself as a performer and play something completely different. How about you? Same reason? No. I just like the way dresses feel against my skin. This is ridiculous. If either of you guys want to compete for this role, fine. Bring it on. I know I'm going to get the part.
You know the name. 23-year-old Ted Allen is said to be in critical condition after his violent soup encounter. According to eyewitnesses, this soup was said to be, quote, extremely hot and the opposite of cold. As a result of this incident, officials have instated a citywide ban on all shirtless activities, and anyone caught doing anything without a shirt will be subject to fines and possibly even arrest. Swimmers are now required to swim in a complete three-piece outfit. Street chimps will no longer frolic as they once frolicked before, and shirtless mail delivery is now a thing of the past. It's obvious that nothing will be the same for this once quiet town. Not even a super gypsy with unstoppable power could have seen this coming. And yet one question still remains. What do we know about soup? Soup, or soup, as it's commonly known, is a dish which goes back at least 25 years in our country's history. Served mostly in liquid form, this food is apparently used as an appetizer at most eating establishments. The mystery food has also created a massive underground following in the sick people community. Current revelations have indicated that the temperature of soup can be altered by outside variables. Who knew that heat could affect the temperature of a liquid? Nevertheless, the ban has sent shockwaves throughout the community and created a 50-50 split in opinion. One local man isn't happy about the ban at all. Well, I find it disgusting. Just when I thought it was safe to eat hot lunch without a shirt on, this happens. You know, back in my day, we did everything shirtless. Now the government wants to tell us what we can and can't do. Well, I'm sick of it. And now, when my future son wants to walk into a church for the first time in his life without a shirt on, what am I supposed to tell him? However, not everyone seems to be up in arms about the new law. It's about time someone took a stand on all this shirtless activity. I'm tired of looking at all these out of shape sweat hogs rolling around my town. Maybe now they'll be forced to get into monster shape like me. And look like a real man. My name is Brohemoth, and this was me three years ago. But not anymore, because now I look like a beast. All it takes is what I like to call the three Ds. Desire, dedication, and dangerous chemical substances. Follow these rules, and you'll look like a real man in no time. Body is for show, not for no. So stop wasting time. If you're like me, and you have a massive inferiority complex, a poor personality, emotional baggage, people who don't accept you, friends who don't respect you, and no friends, then you need to compensate. Bodybuilding is your ticket. Rip. Unfortunately, most people spend their time in the gym because they want better health. Those people are fools. You should use your time in the gym to lift obscene amounts of weight and to attract people around you. The key is to show off as much as possible to attract women and make other people want to be your friend. Now let's go inside and take a closer look. Move out of my way. Okay, so I was kicked out. Apparently there's a beast limit and I exceeded it. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean I can't offer helpful tips from the window. <gasps> Look at this! They think running's gonna make people like them? What a bunch of maroons. <sighs> These guys are lifting more than <clears throat> They're lifting less than 900 LBs. I can't believe this, what a bunch of whips. You'll never make any friends like that. Well, I wish I could show you how to lift like a winner. But I haven't had my daily dose of anabolic injections yet. Fortunately, I'm already built like a tank. So now it's time to show off for the ladies. Wink. Hey there, toots! How'd you like to turn your life around? Turn that pudding sleeve you call a body into a meat tower like mine. Pudding sleeve? Meat tower? What are you talking about? Aren't you tired of all this cellulite? You're embarrassing yourself, woman. I weigh 100 pounds, you jerk. Denial! That's not one of my 3Ds. You need a personal trainer. I don't need a personal trainer. I can exercise on my own. Beef wall! Look, I don't take no for an answer. In my vocab, 
No means yes. Yes means yes. And I'm calling the police means I'm all yours. If you expect people to take you seriously, you gotta bust some iron. Okay, I'll do it if it'll get you off my back. Let's get jacked! Body feels tight. Are you okay? You should write it up. <coughs> 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 what you're gonna have to realize honestly. <laughs> it's really tough. Well, better be on my way. Thanks, mister. Oh the ambulance. Oh, <laughs>